What's going on, everyone? I'm busy playing, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is a game I originally had intended on doing a lot of playthroughs of. Uh, the reason I didn't is because the playthroughs are generally always very long. And with my software and um, uh, doing the editing and processing on YouTube and stuff, all those things you have to, that are required to be done, the videos would take forever. Sometimes they wouldn't load. Um, I don't know if it's an issue with my software or what, so I really got to keep these videos to a bare minimum. I've also found that a lot of people don't really want to watch an excruciatingly long video. Uh, I think the shortest one, I did it like a beginning playthrough of the game where I hadn't, you know, I, I was trying to do a first time ever run and it took me almost a half hour to get through it all and to show everything. So I'm going to kind of explain the game and the little tips and tricks that I've learned um, as we are going along. Um, so, come on, get over here, you little shit. This is an item box that doesn't re require a key, which is nice. Gold boxes will require keys. Um, the red and black ones will not, but sometimes you can get bad, bad items. Uh, speaking of bad items, this could be one. Uh, these are your pills that you'll find scattered throughout the game. If you notice down in the right-hand corner, it has little question marks on it. That's because you don't know what it does. Uh, some pills are good, some pills are bad. Let's find out what this one is. Tears down. Fuck you. So it was bad. Luckily for me, if I run across that particular pill again, it will let me know, since I've taken it before, that that's what that pill does. You can also find an item called PhD that will inform you of what every pill does. If you've had it or not, it'll show you down in the bottom right hand corner this does this or this does that. So you can avoid those if you want. Also, there's secret rooms. That troll bomb that showed up when I killed that last enemy blew a hole because it blew up here and it gave me a secret room. Here's your red and black boxes, which can be good and bad. And it was bad. It's a fucking troll bomb. Now I only have one heart left. Thank you so much, game. So then we'll just wander over here. I'm going to try to find my item room, which would be good. And here it is. With my most hated enemies in the entire game, the spiders. I don't like any of the spiders or dicks. And these little shitheads here crying. Um, ah, okay, I'm almost dead now. Hey, it's awesome. Um, uh, those big spiders will spawn the little ones. The crying baby things spawn the spiders. It's just, then when you kill them, they have spiders that come out of them. Yay, goody goody gumdrops, whatever. Uh,. We're not in a good way. I have half a heart left. Basically because I have not been paying attention to what I was doing and trying to explain this game while I'm playing it and I'm dead. Since that was quick, let's just try and restart this and maybe I can blast through it really quick. Of course, they're starting me in the cellar, which is usually infested with spiders. Yeah, great. Little fucking running around piece of shit. You stand still, you little bitch. Bombs you can use for numerous reasons. Um, you can blow up things that you might might maybe hold a secret area or a secret item. Um, I will show you, uh, since I do have a bomb, if I come across one of them anyway, uh, I like to call them the, I guess, secret rocks that hold goodies in it, usually blue hearts. Your blue hearts are hearts that act like a heart, but they won't stick around. You can't uh, refill them later. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. The fires here can actually hold goodies in them as well, so you might want to, you know, put those out. And see, there you go, there's a coin. But I'm still looking for my item room, which I would love to run across without having to go through too much of this bullshit. Uh, so maybe I'll make this more of an explanation video. <laughs> Instead of trying to, you know, go and uh, beat mom and, uh, yeah, beat mom. If you don't know anything about the game, um, the storyline is very twisted. Um, <laughs> and uh, you do have several characters you can choose from, although you only start out with Isaac in the beginning. 
I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And I'm using uh, Samson, who has Bloodlust. Uh, of course, you know, when he takes damage, he inflicts more damage, so... Just in case I didn't mention that. So I got my item. And I'm good. I'm just gonna run back and go to the boss. And hopefully have a little more luck this time. You need to go away, little shit. Is your name? I'm not. Even, I don't have a beef with you. I have a beef with this shithead here. As little blood pellets he spits out do explode, so be wary of that. It can inflict quite a bit of damage. I'm, I'm wanting to. I'm, I'm want. Yeah, here we go. I want Samson to kind of take a little damage himself because he's not really dishing out too much right now. One should do it. There we go. HP goes up. Take my hearts. Down we go. Alright, so. Um, trying to think. Remember everything that I was going to explain and, and some little tips I've learned from playing this game. Okay. These guys are usually pretty easy, they're slow, sluggish. They'll do like a fart blast, which really doesn't seem to do much to you except for knock you backwards. Other than I can imagine what the smell is like, but I hate spiders. Uh, item room is quick, thank you God. Ah, uh, we have a familiar. A little familiar goes around and he actually will shoot his little spectral tears which can, which can go through rock. And barriers, that kind of thing. So, oh, you little shit. So it's where mine wouldn't go through that pot, his will go right through it. See, kind of nice. Okay, and these freakos, rather quick little guys. Kind of freaky looking too. See, it's like that kind of Japanese horror thing going on where their eyes are missing and there's blood seeping out. That's an item card that I go, ouch, that I got. So if I hit uh, right one, I can spin the Wheel of Destiny, or I can do my rage. Since we're going into the fight, and I'm not worried about spinning the wheel, I'm just going to take that with me, since this guy's a complete douchebag. I got my rage meter going, so I can take care of this guy fairly quickly. Hopefully. No, no you don't. And he's done. Ooh, good one. Damage up. We like it when the damage goes up. Love it when the damage goes up, in fact. Okay, and I think, I, as I had mentioned before, your character starts to change. So you can see that Samson now looks is looking a little more freaky. Blood streaming on one part of his face. and There's a good way or easy way to get rid of those spiders as they're clinging to the walls. Just get to that wall and just stay to the edge and blast away at them because they can't hit you. Haha. -ha. Oh, fuck off, you little shits. Come on, you little bastard. Get over here. That item, I've never really understood what it does. Oh, here's your red fires. Those red fires will shoot at you, as you can see. Uh, so this will turn my bombs into toxic blasts. So there will be a toxic um, uh, blast in the room that will like poison damage them. Now this little jobby guy right here will take your hearts or blood and transfer them, I think it's into coins. I don't ever use it because I'm, I'm like, that's just stupid. Why would I want to do that? Yeah, I may need to buy something, but what if it's health that I needed to buy? <laughs> that wouldn't make much sense, right? I'm hoping I can come across a secret rock. 
because I've got eight bombs. I can show you what the secret rocks, what they look like specifically. Blue heart. And then there's one right there. You can see he's kind of off colored and he's got the little X on the, on top of him. If I could get to him, I would have blown him up and gotten uh, more than likely a blue heart. Keys everywhere. Good lord. Well, actually, I needed them. These guys are relatively harmless. Just kind of have a weird. See, I got my items, so let's straight to the boss now. Quickly. And yeah, we're at 16 minutes. Uh, and Samson's doing a decent amount of damage now. That's good. Come on, show your face. Take that hurl quick, because this dipshit's being a dipshit. All stats up. Woohoo. And when you don't pick any hearts up during a level, you get this devil room show up. And you can trade hearts. Of course, you'll lose the heart forever for um, an item out of the room. And since uh, I have plenty of hearts and I don't really want to do a full playthrough right now because it's going to just rape me on my uh, my upload. So we'll just see. I lose a heart there. Sister Maggie will come along. So we have two familiars now. And we'll just go into this next one. We'll go through this level. And I think I'm going to call it quits because this is going to be too long. And just so you know, so each time Samson goes back into a level, his bloodlust goes away again, and you have to rebuild it, so his tears aren't as big and don't do as much damage. Until he starts taking damage again. Come here, you little shit. I hate these guys because they hide. Just die. Thank you. Try and blast through this as quick as we can. Yeah, that was good. Do have a secret rock? I don't see anything. Just moving along. And we're going through this a little quicker because I got my little familiars helping me out here. Alright, and a bomb. Let's just keep going up. Nope, nothing there. Side. Come on. No, 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 no. I don't care about you guys anymore. Fuck off. Heart. Excuse me. I had to burp. So here's one of the blue chests. You need a key. Open it up. A couple bombs. I've noticed it's kind of funny that uh, the ones that require a key <laughs> generally don't have anything really great in them. Here's another pill. Let's see what this one does. Amnesia. So that's awesome. So now we don't know where we're going. My map on the right hand corner has a question mark now. Here's a secret rock. Boom. Two hearts out of it. Lucky for me, we're going straight to my item. And this, I believe, two shot. So one of my shots will be this tooth that shoots out of my mouth and does some really nasty damage. Just going to town now. Look at us. We kill those fires because they will shoot at us. Moving right along. No, 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 no. Where do you think you're going? Heart boss. And I'm trying to see what my. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not as long in my video as I thought I was. Okay, Spider, you don't stand a chance. Get the fuck out of my face. I don't, I don't put up with that shit. Shot speed goes up, which is good. Lay waste. That, that'd be good if I still have it for a boss fight. Let's see, I'm looking. And I'm almost at 15 minutes. I could probably go to a 20 minute video and I'd be fine. So let's just keep trucking along here. These rooms you run into every now and then they're a bitch. Put a bomb here really quick. Run back. Break that open. And then run as quickly as you can. 
Those little spike thingies will fuck you up. This is kind of like a mini boss. I'm pretty beefy, so he really doesn't do much to me. Spin the wheel, I'm not going to worry about that. You can spin the wheel if you have a lot of coins. And um, you get goodies out of hearts, keys, stuff like that. Kind of nice. If you need it in a pinch. And you got the coins to, you know, to uh, to use. Or if you have that many at your disposal, then go for it. Get some good stuff out of there. Now these guys are just a nothing but a pain in my ass because they'll... They turn into these blob thingies and they'll respawn. And as you can see right there. I'm not seeing... Oh well, god, there's a lot of rocks in here. There could be a secret one in there, but I just don't want to waste my time looking for it. You all know about them. Oh no you don't. Fuck off. Told you I don't put up that shit. I love my item boxes that I don't require. Ooh, you little shit. Get away from me. I don't have to put up with you because you're not supposed to be here, so fuck off. Now, things that are broke open, you don't necessarily have to stick around for. It's like the room is won't remain locked, in other words. Hey, it's a sucky room. Those things that, that were had the little things coming out of their mouths, it's, it's like a suction. It'll pull you towards those spiked things, and the spiked things fuck you up really bad. So we got ourselves an oversized dingle. It's an oversized piece of shit. Let's just cut him down to size, shall we? <laughs> yes. If I need it, got a key. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. I'm not too too concerned. Here's your little buddy. Some of them will have a coin sign or a key sign or hearts. You give those to them, and they'll give you goodies back in return. I really would like to have my item. That'd be cool. Um, is this the door? No, it's up here. All right. Nothing in here. Just these pain in the ass pieces of shit. No, 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 no. I don't care if I run into or not. It's gonna cause more damage anyway, right? Ha ha. Wait a minute. Why am I? It just showed me the item room. It was it was sitting below. So I have to go. Through this bullshit again. Hopefully, not get killed. Go down. Oh God. Yeah, that was delayed. Ah, uh, that was a, a delayed hurt. God, I hate them. Ooh, I hate them. I hate them. They shoot so quickly; it's hard to avoid. There they are. Haha. Uh -huh. Another familiar. Now the bum friend is is weird. He, uh, he'll take your coins, and I believe he turns your coins into keys, I think. Or hearts, or, you know, something good. <laughs> so it may be a bum, but he does help you out. So, to our boss fight really quick. Loki. This should be fun. The only thing that makes him difficult is the uh, little... Uh, Shitty spawns in that fucking piece of shit uh, spike thingy there, which will cause horrible damage if it hits you. All right, speed goes up. Let's no, let's go, go down, down. And I am sitting at oh shit, almost 20 minutes. So let's just blast. This should be mom's room, so I can show you that. Let's just try and just get through this as quickly as possible. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, God. Go away. I'll 
take the damage. I don't give a shit. I pretty much showed <laughs> like everything I wanted to show. Um, I don't know what he does. I wish granted monkey paw. Whatever. I'll just keep it. Oh, our little invisible buddies here. These guys are douchebags. Like for me, I have like a shit ton of damage going on here, so. Yeah, shut up. See if I had this pill before? I have not. And I just keep getting shit pills. This is bullshit. Bullshit on the shit pills. Oh, good. These you can only hit from behind. Unless you have like, um, penetration shots. Now I'm just going to get killed. <laughs> no, I did not. I think my bum friend is the one that's giving me the dark hearts. And dark hearts, when they are depleted, they go away just like a blue heart will. But they just dish out mat. They dish out huge damage to everybody in the room. Yeah, you need to all die. Okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hey, at this point, if we go after mom, it's we're probably not going to beat her. But, you know, hey, worth a shot, right? Never know. You just never know. Oh, well, these shit has floating around. I hate any ones that, that teleport. Pain in my keister. Mm, get rid of you, because you're just probably going to try and ruin my life. Stupid red fires. Looking for hearts. Oh, goody. Well, here's our boss room. And this should be mom. Like I said before. It's something good. You just have to trick him sometimes into not coming at you. Yep, it's mom, alright. Isaac! Oh, God, Isaac. <laughs> Shut up. You bitch. And I'm getting myself killed. Yeah, this is not good. We'll be dead any second now. Ugh. Ah! That'd be cool if I could actually kill her. And I did. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, over here to our left is a rush room. I think I will save that for another video. I can... I'm going to cut this one for now, though, but we'll come back to this rush room and I'll show you what this is all about, which I probably won't survive very long, but what the hell. I'll show you what it is. It's, it's pretty cool. You go after, like, every single boss. So, anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you did, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Binding Isaac Rebirth. Yo.